Olá pessoal, estou aqui na, no FTF 2015, aqui no Technology, Technology Lab, com o Scott aqui, o Scott e o Patrick do, do Esquilo. Deixa eu mostrar para vocês. Essa plaquinha aqui, essa nova placa, chamada Esquilo. E Patrick, fala sobre o Esquilo para nós, por favor. Um, I can't, I can't uh, speak in Portuguese, but okay. um, you, you know what I mean, squirrel. Um, so uh, Esquilo is uh, the, the board that we made to make connected devices really easy. It's got everything built in. It's got a web IDE built in. Um, it's got built-in Wi-Fi. You just point your, uh, get this thing on your Wi-Fi network, point your web browser at it, uh, and you load a full uh, development environment in your web browser that lets you do uh, source code debugging all remotely through, through your web browser. Um, and it's all loaded directly from this board. It's not through the cloud or anything like that. It's all directly through this board. Um, it's it's uh, Arduino pin compatible, so you can reuse yeah. your Arduino shields. Okay. Plus, we've got a lot of extra I.O. here. Um, it's all documented on the back. Wow. Um, and while the, the system runs standalone uh, on your local network just fine, um, with no cloud dependency, we also support uh, an, an, the Esquilo Nest, which is our cloud site. Uh, this thing creates a, a secure tunnel connection up to our cloud that lets you uh, conveniently access all your devices through the cloud and manage them. At, uh, yes. So it's let me show. So you were using uh, Knet? Microcontroller? Kinetis K64 microcontroller. K64. So it's a Cortex M4F uh, uh, ARM processor. Okay. It's got built-in hardware acceleration uh, for encryption, which we use to create the tunnel up to the cloud. Uh -huh. um, and uh, floating point. And you're going to see floating point comes in handy for um, a demo like we're doing right now, uh, which uses the accelerometer, uh, magnetometer, and gyroscope to calculate positional data have to uh, in real time. Okay, we're having we're having a, a power connector difficulty right now. Hey, but uh, do you have other boards here, right? Right. This this is uh, because because we support the um, Arduino, Arduino Arduino shields. This is just an off the shelf weather shield from Sparkfun. Okay. It's got a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, mm -hmm. a pressure sensor. Um, you don't have to do anything. You just plug it in, um, no. and then. We have I squared C libraries, uh, libraries for all the peripherals, really, that let you access devices like this. And it's easy, just like uh, Arduino. Okay. Um, and so this, uh, one of our demos, makes it really easy to just, in real time, uh, uh, grab temperature, pressure, and humidity data. And then our board ser can serve a web page to you. Uh, and one of our demos is, you know, just kind of showing those uh, those readings in real time on a web page. Um, the other thing I guess we didn't talk about is uh, we've got a micro SD card yeah. slot here. Okay. And so you can put up to a 32 gig of micro SD card on there. And it's fat formatted, so you can actually write data to it, log data to it uh, if you want to. Read it from your PC. Um, you can also put uh, web applications on there uh -huh. that you can serve directly from this board that accesses uh, the embedded code on here very easily. Um, and then the powering, power, you, you got standard barrel jack power, or you can use a USB to power. Yeah. Um, sure. And, and then th this is, uh, this is and another this board. Has from Freescale, right? Yeah. This is a nine-axis sensor. So magnetometer, accelerometer, and gyroscopes on three axes. So it has nine axes of uh, IMU. Okay. Uh, this uh, reduced sensor fusion on board that's written in Squirrel and uses an algorithm called Magic, which uh, uses a uh, algebraic uh, uh, domain called Quaternions, which are used by three-dimensional graphics programmers. Okay. Um, so what we're do doing is we're constantly tracking the position of this thing. It's yaw, pitch, and roll, which is its orientation. Okay. We're running that and sending it to a web browser in 3D, and now we have a three-dimensionally rendered squirrel that we're reading the data from over Wi-Fi. And so this is just rendered a standard web browser technology, WebGL, and it's a HTML5 type thing. And so all this is actually being calculated inside the Esquilo. Very cool. Scott, uh, this is this board helps uh -huh. 
uh, guys to prototype, right? Yeah, this is our prototyping shield, okay. and so it supports our extension connector. This is a standard Arduino uh, form factor. You can use an Arduino okay. shield if you want to, but we have an extra expansion connector here, okay. which this proto shield has. And so on the back side, we actually have surface mount pads if you have surface mount chips. Okay. So these are the uh, SOC format chips, and these are SOICs. So you can actually add some surface mount. Nice. And you also can do uh, surface mount resistors and capacitors here on both sides. Uh -huh. And then this, you can do uh, dip packaging. And then this goes on top of the board, and you can do your own custom circuitry. Yes. And then you can actually take more and, and stack them on top like that. And that's a weather shield, which is temperature and humidity. Okay. Thank you very much, Scott. You're welcome. Thank you very much.